Joining us in the kitchen today is Leron Landry. Big hitting safety. Used to be with the Redskins, now with the Jets. Also has the biggest arms you have ever seen. Let's get to know Leron a little bit. You have very famous biceps. You have a couple of thighs on your arms. You can't, you can't <laughs> buy funny. normal jackets, right? You can't, it's not possible for you to go into a store and buy a normal jacket, right? You're you right, man. And you know, I, I really hate that. There's some nice things I, I want I can't get because of the size of my arms. Like this jacket right now, is, you know, it's tailor-made to fit, but it, it's kind of a little tight right now. I, I, <laughs> I haven't worn it in a while. See, but, but, but really and truly, man, you're talking about the arms, but that's that's not really my best lift. That's not really what I like doing, you know. The arms gonna the arms come natural with any type of lifting I do, you know. I, I get a pump with my arms. I could be doing chest workout and get a pump in my arms, you know. And I have the proper technique and everything. It's just <laughs> the arms gonna be the arms, man. I can't do nothing about them. Well, how about jogging shirtless? Will you go jogging? Will you enjoy jogging shirtless in order to show off the arms? No, no. I, I, I'm, I'm going to start off with a shirt on it, and then if it gets a little too hot or, you know, I need a, a, a edge, I, I might, the shirt may come off. Uh, I never completed a workout with my shirt on. <laughs> you, you, you've, ne <laughs> you've never once completed a workout. Never, the shirt always comes off. It always come off. What is the actual circumference of your arms? Oh, man, I'm not sure right now. You know, just going through that season and, you know, at the end of the season predominantly, you know, you, you lose a, a couple pounds in, in, in muscle mass. So uh, it, it's about that time right now where I start, you know, ramping it back up and <laughs> start running, basically. <laughs> start LaRonning? Yeah, is basically. That what you, yeah. Is that what you just called it? <laughs> you, you know it. Well, give me an you example know. of that because uh, workout guys have crazy regimens. I mean, Michael right. Irvin used to say that he wouldn't know a workout was over until he threw up on his uniform for the exactly. second time. For the exactly. second time. What do you mean exactly? Exactly. I love it. You, I, I go by, I may say something, but don't take it the wrong way. I, I go by the model like sometimes, you know, Kill yourself, but don't die, you know. So that's what I be trying to do, you know. I just go in the, in my, in the weight room and go till I basically pass out. What's the story behind you ordering and owning a white-faced monkey? Man, you know, uh, just one off-season, just chilling at my, my spot in Louisiana. And, uh, you know, I, I'm watching the, <laughs> the first Ace Ventura, man. And I just looking at the white face uh, capuchin, <laughs> and I was like, man, that 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 that'd be cool to have a a, a, a spider monkey. I was thinking it's a spider monkey, but I done far the research and talked to my cousin, and I was like, man, bro, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna get a monkey. And he kind of <laughs> downplayed it, like, nah, yeah. A week later, <laughs> the, the monkey's here. <laughs> and it was inconvenient, right? I mean, it, it, it took a little time, you know, to, to understand him and, uh, you know, to see his uh, characteristics and his traits, how he go goes along with, with his daily regiment. But, you know, <laughs> you, you, you adapt to it. Well, what's the worst thing he ever did? What's the angriest you ever were with Gucci? When you let him out, well, it's like Michael Jordan, you know, having Michael Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, just around the house just want to jump everywhere. You know, it's, it's like that. He, he really got hops. He, and then he... Take all the candy out of candy jar. Just <laughs> kills him. Starburst, he love it all, man. <laughs> Wait you have any 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 type of fruit, watermelon, <laughs> grapes, he taking that. You, so you have a drink left out with a straw in it, he's going <laughs> to sip on that. So you, <laughs> you turn your head, it might be gone. And you so still have that, Gucci? Yeah, I still have him. Yeah. Really? You still have him? Anywhere. Yeah. Huh. What age would you say you were when you became a man? What age I be? Oh man! When I became a man, my daddy raised, started raising us to be men. As far back as I can remember, uh, my older brother Derek, he played in Vanderbilt. Have a brother right now who plays uh, with Jacksonville, and so it always been competitive, man. It always been, you know, <laughs> a, a winner's dream, basically. You know, we all wanted to win, and just being in a household full of winners, you know, 
somebody's going to fall short of winning. So it's, it, it, it always been, a, you know, the mindset to, to, to be number one. You got to have a good story there involving uh, things escalating in a competitive environment. Oh, yeah, with, most definitely. Give me the best one. Give me the best one. Give me the one uh, where, you know, you're chasing your brother out in the street with a butter knife or something. Oh, <laughs> something like that. Man, uh, we, we, we didn't get to the butter knives or any kind of weapons like that. We only <laughs> used our fists. But, you know, our grand, I mean, uh, my, my dad bought us uh, these Sugar Ray Leonard's boxing gloves. So whenever we have a... Uh, uh, argument, uh, any type of altercation, uh, we had to whip out the boxing gloves and let the best man win. <laughs> so that's how things were settled in the oh, house yeah, with with, ac with with actual fights. Yeah, the, 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 the boxing gloves are a belt. Hey, pick your poison. And so, how would this work? Would you get in there with Dad? No, he he just was a, basically the over, overseer. He was the rough. You know, he <laughs> he roughed the fight. You know, the boxing match. So. uh <laughs> he used to just egg, egg each other on, each one of us on to win. You know, he, he just wanted to see who would really give up or who's going to endure the whipping, you know. And, and that's all about, you know, <laughs> becoming a competitor and just becoming a man, you know. Uh, are you going to give up or are you going to keep on fighting? My father has a question for you, Laron. Go ahead, Poppy. I am an older guy. How can I get bicep like the ones you have? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just got to start LaRonning, man, and, and <laughs> eat your meat and potatoes. LaRon, thank you for being on with us. Appreciate it, bro. Gracias. Thank you.